Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this one, I'm going to show you how to fit the Shimano Holotech 2 bottom bracket to your uh, road bike. Now, there's two different variants really of these. This one happens to be a 105 uh, 5800 um, bottom bracket, like so. And this one is a Dura Ace 9100 bottom bracket. But this also applies if this was a Dura Ace 9000 bottom bracket. The difference being is the size of the end cups on them. The cups are different sizes. So for the 105 or even 6800 or Tigra, this one, if it comes with a plastic tool like so, installation tool that basically just slides over the end like so and then to use that tool that they come with if it doesn't then this tool is a TL-FC25 Shimano tool sometimes you'll get them they come with this um, as part of the uh, bottom bracket sometimes they don't so basically what you do with that tool is you get it on and it fits into a spanner like so this is a genuine Shimano spanner. This spanner is a TL-FC32. I'll put the um, I'll put the codes in the uh, description below, just so you know what they are. But that's what that does. That fits into that tool, and this will install, like I say, a 105 bottom bracket. Now, if the if you've got a 9000 Dura Race or 9100 the latest Dura Race. Then they got smaller, the end caps are smaller on them. So if it doesn't come with a tool or anything to put it in, and you've got the old tool, it won't work with this. So what you want is that's also a Shimano tool. What just uses a ratchet, it goes in the end or a large spanner that goes over there to fit it. And they just go on the cup like so to install it. And these cups are smaller on this. So I'll put the um, number of this tool in the description below as well, so you can find it if you need to purchase one. This is a genuine Shimano tool. Um, I'll say, regards to the difference, I'll say it's just the end cups are smaller, therefore I'll, I'll put them on the scales and just see what the weight difference is between the 105 and the latest Dura Race 9100, just to see. I'll say they're both Holotech 2 bottom brackets and the fitment of them is the same, the way they actually fit into the bike and they're both threaded bottom brackets so I'll go ahead and get them installed or one of them installed and uh, show you the process right, we'll start first with the 105 bottom bracket that's 76 grams and then we've got the Dura Ace 9100 67 grams right so we got the uh, the bike on the stand here and if you look it's, as I said it's a threaded bottom bracket now this is the uh, non drive side so in other words the drive side is this side where your chain rings would be if they was in, in position, this is a non-drive side. So the non the non-drive side on the bike tightens up the uh, normal way. So the left side tightens up clockwise is tightening and anti-clockwise is is for loosening the same just standard thread. Then the opposite side, the drive side, is the opposite way. So it would be anti-clockwise would be tightening it and clockwise would be loosening it for the drive side now before you start it make sure the threads are obviously clean um, if they're not then take your time to clean them properly with a bit of degreaser or a little wire brush something like that and a piece of rag and make sure you clean them to the you know as clean as you can get them before you install the new one 
make sure you take your time and do that it just makes the installation easier and you can also just check the threads as well once they're clean just take your time to clean them properly right so starting with the uh, the drive side which like I said earlier is um, tightening it is anti-clockwise and loosening it is clockwise if you want to know which way it goes round if it comes because this centre piece pop can pull out of the cup so you're just left with the cup and you don't know which way it goes and the, the cup on there as you can see it's got left and right on it just in case the cup you can remove this cup centre piece it pulls out of the cup so say so it's written on there so therefore you can just slide that in there and just check first by tightening it it's going to go in started by hand as far as you can go by hand until it stops just to check the threads are going to start cleanly after you've done that best thing to do is put some grease around the threads it comes with a smear of grease on there but go ahead and put, put top up the grease on them threads and put some grease just wipe some grease around the, the threads in the actual uh, frame itself before you go ahead and screw this in and start tightening it with the tool right, so once you've got some extra grease on there you're ready to put, the, put it in and then start tightening up like I say make sure it goes in cleanly don't cross thread it if you cross thread it and then you carry on winding it in then you'll be in trouble you just strip the threads they're only made of aluminium so you can strip the threads on the actual um, bottom bracket very easily just get it in all the way until you can't tie in any more by hand and then obviously you just get your tool like so now this tool you can use a half inch drive ratchet on it so like I said earlier it's anti-clockwise for tightening up so you just go ahead and tighten it basically until it just until it stops take the time and tighten it all the way down and then when it when it stops like so it can't go any more than that just leave it at that and then you can move on to the non-drive side Right, when you're ready to install the non-drive side, obviously you can see the grease in there that is supplied on it when it comes new. So you can go ahead, put some put some more grease on the thread, just run run some around there, and just put some extra grease just inside here, where it goes and seals around the uh, the centre section of it, the plastic centre section there. Just put some extra grease in there. It just helps stop any water getting into anything so once you've done that you're ready to start threading that in so once you've got your grease on you're ready to go ahead and install it I say this side is clockwise for tightening it so go ahead and get the thread started by hand until you're happy that it's going in and it's not cross threading if, if, if you think it's cross threading just remove it again and check the threads just before you go and tighten up if you're unsure just remove it and have a look because it's better to do that than it is to uh, rectify the damage so once you got it so I'm going in more by hand then you're ready to get your tool like so and just carry on tightening it down till it's uh, till it stops So you stop moving there. So then we go back around to the non-drive side and just um, double check that. So obviously double check this side to make sure. And that's plenty tight enough. With a, with a, with a big ratchet like that there's no need to go levering right on the far end of that and tightening it as tight as you can get it there's no point you just do it 
more damage. So I say, doesn't take a lot to tighten them up. If you just check the manufacturer's torque spec, if you've never done it before, I suggest you do that. Get a torque wrench and torque it up to their manufacturer's spec. Right, so this is the difference. This is, like I said earlier, is 9001 bottom bracket. And if you've got a tool for the older version, like the 5800 or 6800 bottom brackets, with the uh, larger end the caps on them, then this is the tool for that. And as you can see, it won't tighten that up. It just slips on it, because these are smaller cups. That's the difference. So this tool won't work with a 9100 or 9000 um, Holotech bottom bracket. You need the uh, the tool that I add on the ratchet. This is for the 5800, 6800 Altegra with the larger cups for the bottom bracket. Right guys, so that's the uh, installation complete. Like I said, before you start it, it's a simple job, but make sure you've got the right tools to complete it. There's no point in trying to take it apart if you haven't got the right tools. So just make sure you get the right uh, tools for the job. It just makes life so much easier. So until the next video, ride safe and I'll see you then.